Hey y'all, welcome to Keyham 141 Homestead. I'm Tracy, and as always, there's something being done on the homestead. <laughs> okay, some of you may know that I have been working on getting the new well hooked to the house. Now, I'm going to go through and explain it. I already did it. I'm going to explain what I did for you just so you can know some of the intricacies this is not a how-to video because well I was I was without water in the house uh, once I cut it off and filming takes a long time so let me tell you and show you kind of what's going on down in the well right here hi Richie <laughs> hi Richie he wants to be on film say hi no okay all right, we had a, you can kind of see the trench, mar markings of the trench down through there that went to the old well. Uh, there was a line going through there. I cut the line down there and we put an elbow in there and ran a lot to a pitless adapter in here. A pitless adapter is simply an adapter that goes through the metal well casing below the frost line to your water line so that you don't freeze your water line yet you can still with the pull pipe pull the pump out of the well without digging it up. I did have to splice the wires underground. I used heat shrink and connectors for the ground connection you don't want water in there this is kind of what's down there guys this Frank's test pump my pump is a little smaller now he pulls a check valve out of these because he's putting them down wells and pulling them up and it's just a lot lighter if you pull the check valve out so the water can go but mine has a check valve because I want the water to stay in there okay now on the top of the line four foot under the ground over there instead of having this I have a pitless adapter you connect the top of it to a t-bar like I have sitting here and you can lower it down and it just slides in together and form beautiful um, a beautiful little mat there so it doesn't leak and then as you go down you tape your wire and your rope you want a rope tied to your pump okay because you don't want to pull pull up on this um on the pump you can see right here there is a hole where you can tie your rope these are his shrink tube connections you tape them to any little bit helps you're underwater but then you tape your rope and your wire all the way up until the pitless adapter and then the wire comes up through the cap and there's a hole in the cap that I put this pipe here so I can weed eat and I'm going to tidy that, that rope up. This well cap is on here firm. Uh, and then for our guards you put on the first is a torque arrestor you put the torque arrestor right above the pump when this pump kicks on it'll keep it from slamming on the side of the well there are some white ones that you put every so often on the way up so that, that pipe doesn't hit now my well is 52 feet deep and my pump the bottom of my pump is actually sitting at 36 now what this does is it allows sediment and stuff to settle well it's 36 plus 4 so it's 40 foot so it's it's about 12 feet off the bottom because remember the pitless adapter is four foot underground so you're well below the frost okay I am in the pantry and this is where the pipe see that water is cold so that's why you get condensation there I've got the the one inch poly pipe coming in and this 
is the wire that goes to the new breaker box. And then coming in here, we have a one inch, uh, I think it's inch and a quarter adapter. Then we have a check valve. We have our pressure gauge. We have, so if I ever need to drain this tank and I put it on upside down so that I would be able to uh, get a hose on it easier. Then you have your relief valve, your emergency relief valve. This will go off if I ever hit too much pressure in the tank. This is my pressure switch that connects the wire to the box to wire to the pump. This is a shut off and then it's reduced down to half inch pecs. Now a lot of people and I, I might even switch to it switch to it myself later would go with three quarter for a main trunk line it'll give you more pressure runs up here and into my filters now look at that filter that I put that on uh, yesterday the new well and it's catching all that it's going to take a while once you put that pump down there you're stirring everything up when you put that new pump down there but I put this new filter on there because the other one was just trash and then I was able to actually put my 0.5 micron filter carbon filter in this one okay I'm still gonna use the filters because it's better to be safe than sorry you know the paper filters one micron paper filters are cheap so they can catch most of it and that will prolong the life of my carbon filter Okay, now I, I do have this light here that I'm not using. This is my charge station, and this is my connector box. <laughs> the, the, the one that where I keep anything that connects or in the house. Okay, now what I did was, previously I had two outlines on the, the 120 AC. These two lines are 120 volt AC. Okay, and I had this one plugged right into here, which charged my living room and the freezers on it and all that good stuff. Then this one did the kitchen and the dining room. But that's not the best way to go. What I did was, right now I'm not using this one but I ran the power to a distribution box. What I have here is I have the living room, I have the kitchen, and then I have the water pump. The water pump is on its own, and the freezer is on the living room. That way I'm not hopefully they won't draw at the same time I did get a special pump I am off grid here I got a special pump that is a slow starting pump it draws I can confirm it draws 1000 watts when it comes on but my amps which are what matter in this system uh, my amps uh, we'll never get over 15 2,000 watts divided by 120 uh, comes out to 16 amps that I have available I Might upgrade to a 3,000 water at some point Inverter charge control now. I can still charge. I this is all the same. I can still charge With the generator. This is my solar panels coming in now. I just did a load of laundry the highest I'm only bringing in 95 watts but the highest my batteries were were 13.2 this morning so I just did a load of laundry and that involves running that drawing a thousand watts for the pump you know and and then whatever the washing machine takes 600 watts and you know I did it all on battery guys working with electricity just read a book <laughs> know what you're doing 
okay? You can really mess up with electricity. Uh, one amp is enough to kill you. And here, especially like when you're dealing with the solar panels, okay, that's bringing in 8.7 amps. 37 volts, 8.7 amps. 8.7 amps will fry you. <laughs> so be mindful, know what you're doing. It's not hard to learn. And once you get the general gist of how to do a breaker box and stuff. Now, check out the codes in your state. I am not a licensed electrician. No, 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 no. I am not a licensed electrician. Because of the extra pressure, which is putting more water through, I have my heat way up. And the amount of water that can pass through, I had to turn down. So it would keep heating us at the same time. Okay, and this is just the cold water going into the heat right here. And this is the hot water coming out. And this is the propane. Let's see what kind of water we got after doing laundry. There's a little bit. That's more oxygen, I think. All right, guys. If you have any questions, go ahead and throw them in the comments. Uh, if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that like button, that subscribe button, that little notification bell so that you can get notified every time I come out with new content. Also, there's the option to join. You will get uh, behind-the-scenes information, behind-the-scenes videos. You will get um, members-only videos. Uh, as, as well as access to the Hanstetter's Facebook page, which is a community that uh, I just love. YouTube has a video, especially for you, according to what you've been watching, that they know you're going to love. And I have a playlist up here that I just know you're going to love because it has all to do with off-grid. All right, you all have a great day, and God bless.